Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and here I am working on my uh, 71 Mustang Mach 1. Uh, it's you know, kit sponsored by Hobby Nut Models, and I've added the wide body conversion to it from uh, Iceman Collections, along with the GT500 Predator motor from Iceman Collections. So if you've been following along with this build, there's a lot of videos and update videos and everything, but I've been working on this motor lately, and uh, last two videos have been getting the motor painted, assembled, fitting everything, and gluing it together for the last time. And I ended with, you know, getting it into the chassis. But since then, um, it is in the chassis now, and it is a tight fit. Um, it really is a tight fit. And I knew that in the mock-ups, but some of this stuff would shift around and move and flex. But now that, uh, you know, some things are solidly glued in here, it's in there. And um, I'm really enjoying it, liking how it's going together. But it's definitely a challenge, and I'm building it, you know, on the car as I'm going. Because, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. And even when I think I have some things right, um, some things come up and surprise you. So um, the body is now completely glued on the sides. Of course, I got these skirts on here. So those are now on there and in place. And I've got some other little things that I'm tweaking and working on here but um the motor it, it's in there and last you saw i was you know gluing the valve covers and oil pan and everything um got the powered by ford decals on there which really don't line up with the molded in powered by ford but and then you know you can see i got the master cylinder glued in there and the booster and that's a tight fit i almost did, didn't use the booster but i could get it in there but you can see there's like zero uh tolerance there and even the master, it's glued in there and kind of center, centered on there. And it's pretty much resting on the valve cover. So I'm liking the way this is this is looking, but it's it's very, very tight. I put in that canister there, which is from the original 71 Mustang. I thought it looked kind of cool. And if it would fit, I was going to use it. I painted aluminum instead of blue. Uh, maybe it's a cool can. Who knows just, you know, what I'm going to call it. But uh, since it was still fit, I put it there. I got, uh, of course, the you know engines in there. There's the oil pan, transmission, cross member, all the front suspension. It's all in here, and it's all glued, front springs and everything. So, and you don't modify any of the suspension for the kit to get it to fit. I'll show you the wheels and tires here in a minute. But <clears throat> got all this in here. Now, you kind of got to do this back to front. Start with the exhaust pipes in. Put those in, put the center pipes in, and uh, the rear sway bar, all the rear suspension. The drive shaft had to be shortened. I actually cut it there and took about a quarter of an inch off there. I didn't take a measurement. I just trimmed and cut, got it to where I thought it was, had to trim and cut it some more, um, but finally got the length I needed to go in there. So drive shaft is in there. That's all hooked up. So all of this, shocks and everything, all glued in. Now the exhaust pipes... Those aren't the exhaust tips I'm using. I'm using the square ones. But since I didn't know where I was going to cut them yet, um, that's why they're still in here and in place. And I'll clip them and then I'll glue those in. But since I use the chrome paint on those, that's going to be one of the last things I do because I don't want to handle it too much and mess up the paint. Um, so the rear is pretty much all done. One thing that I did get caught up on, and you can see in the wheel wells there, I didn't cut out... The wheel wells for the uh, slammed tires. I uh, didn't think too much about it. Thought they were going to clear. Uh, again, there's no directions on exactly what to trim and do. You just kind of, you know, mock them and figure it out as you go. So that's what uh, happened here. I went to put the wheels and tires on. Saw that I was in there. So then I'm cutting them with my razor blade and cutting them out while they're still in the chassis here, trying not to chip the paint. Not the best way to do it. And then I had to go in there and brush all that black because. Uh, there was red overspray in those areas and you couldn't see them, but now that I hacked them open, now you can. So they're all blacked out in there now. So when it comes to the wheels and tires, you know, here, here's the rear wheel. You can see the brake rotor in there and then the two calipers. There's one for a parking brake and then there's one that's a main brake and then how it adapts to the axle and everything. Well, on this one, uh, check this out. This is how it's meant to go. You glue it there, get this lined up. That's where it's, you're meant to glue it and it spaces it out. I think I'm gonna 
shave that and bring the wheel in a little bit because it's really far out. And I want it to go in a little bit more than that. But it was hitting that, so I had to trim it. So there's that. So I got to trim that up. The front's kind of the same. Here's the front. I'm going to black all this out, but since I have to possibly shave these. But the front doesn't look too ridiculous. I mean, it's still, you know, right up to the lip and everything. But it's it's much better. So it doesn't look like I have to shave some more, but you can fine tune the wheel fitting that way. So as some, I'll have to figure out and shave it so I can get it to go in a little bit more on these wheels, but stance wise, it's, it's in there. Everything is really tight um, in there. Oil pan's pretty much just gonna rub. Not sure where the front spoiler is gonna be. That might be touching the ground too, but uh, it's all tucked up in there and it's all tight. And I've got a little bit more to do. The exhaust manifolds, I got the, the two head pipe systems, one from the Boss 351 kit and one from the 428 engine. But this pretty much goes right in here and works really good with going around the tranny and everything. The only thing I got to do is make those pipes turn and go right into the manifolds. So that's one of the last things I need to do on the chassis as far as this goes, fitting the wheels and tires. But I've still got a lot to do in this engine compartment. Now... Um, I didn't mount any of the pulleys and kind of glad I did. It, it'd be easier to put all the pulleys on there, all the parts on there, run the belts, you know, with the motor out. But when it came to getting this thing shoved in there and in there and, and in place, there's a high chance that I would have broke any one of these little pegs, broke any of these off. Um, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it's really lean back. The radiator does fit the fan shroud, which, uh, I haven't decided when to use the fan shroud or not really doesn't need it maybe i'll find an electric fan to add to it but the supercharger here's the supercharger i did paint the rails and the injectors on both sides and the motor uh the electric motor on the side of the throttle body because it's a uh not a cable it's a throttle by wire so it's all electronic as far as this goes but this is looking really good now you lay that right on there i haven't glued it in place yet uh two reasons one is uh um, if everything fits under the hood, thankfully, but I haven't decided if I'm going to use the brace or not. I kind of like looking at it this way, but at the same time, this brace goes in there and it's correct for the Mustang. I kind of want to leave it in there, but I cut the D out so that I can actually slide it in there instead of gluing it in place because I can mock it up, remove it. So if I can get it in there, there we go. So there she is. And then this still... Just barely fits under there and you can glue this down glue them both down and everything fits and then thankfully the hood fits too get it all down so the the hood still fits so i'm really happy about all of that now it's going to be a little tight it's everything on this is really tight so but everything is in there most of the stuff's done i just got to finish up all that little stuff on the front now, one of the things I got to do, here's the cone Canaan air filter, paint the black on the front and the black on the back. I got to make an elbow to figure out where exactly I'm going to put this. I've got the Optima battery to put in there. Got a bunch of little things, but this thing's really coming along. Got the door handles. I was fitting those. I think those are going to be black instead of chrome. Haven't decided if I'm going to leave them chrome. Black, I think it would look good, but I got the chrome gas cap on the back. But black would look good. Um, so I'm thinking those are going to be black. The lock cylinders will be black. I may leave the gas cap as the only piece of chrome on the on the back here. And got to detail the front and put those parts on. But the most of this is glued. All the firewall stuff is glued. But I didn't put any glue in here where the inner fenders are. I haven't done that yet. And this radiator support, it's pretty much in there. But there's actually no glue on it. And then I start putting in all the front stuff. Um, get all that on there. So that'll be pretty easy now that, you know, the radiator and everything. So I just got just to work in those areas. So I still got quite a bit of work to do, but this thing's just coming along awesome. And, and I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out. So pretty excited about this one. Hope to have it done here really soon, guys. So those of you guys, uh, you know, your comments and everything really loving this build. 
Uh, definitely a different type of build for me. Don't really do stuff like this normally. So it's kind of uh, you know, fun and refreshing, kind of let myself run with it, but figure out all these little problems as I'm going along and work on them, especially with no real directions and exactly what I'm doing and how it's happening. So you guys, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all your comments and support and everything. I really do appreciate it. And you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time.